Good morning, church. We are going to share in virtual communion this Sunday morning. So if you wish to join us, I suggest you pause this video and get yourself some bread and juice or wine if you have not already. Our video today is for Sunday, June the 7th. And the readings for this Sunday are from Genesis, the first chapter, first verse, through the second chapter, verse 4. And the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, 16 through 20. We have two announcements this morning. All members should have received a message via email blast from our moderator, Bill Richards, outlining our May council meeting and our plans for our annual general business meeting. Please contact the office at FCCRO at FCCRO.org if you did not receive it. And of course, Please continue to keep sending in those pictures for our music videos. Landscape view is the easiest. Email any pictures you wish to have included online to Dave Meinhardt, whose email address is listed in the hard copy of this service. And so now let us begin our time of prayer with a prayer based on Psalm Eight. If you have the hard copy with you, please join me. O oh Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We see the work of your hands in the imprint of all creation. What are we that you are mindful of us? mortals that you care for us you have made us a little lower than god and have placed all your creation into our care praise be to god's majestic name as we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Today's reading is from the beginning of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome, and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put, be put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good and there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, of every kind with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good, God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, 
and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Our Gospel reading this morning comes from the 28th chapter, the Gospel of Matthew. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. There are different definitions to the word myth. The first definition is a story that, although not necessarily factual, is still true as it teaches an underlying truth in life. For example, the goose and the golden egg. 
which, although technically a fable, serves the same purpose as the definition of myth. Most of us probably know the story. A man owns a goose, which lays one golden egg every day. The man takes the egg to the market to sell it, and soon enough begins to become rich. But the man becomes impatient that he was not getting rich fast enough. And while he was counting his money, he got the idea to off the goose so that he could get all her golden eggs at once. But once the deed was done, he didn't find any other golden eggs and his precious goose was gone. One might say that he had cooked his own goose. I know, but I couldn't resist. Is this story factual? Was there a man with a golden goose? Probably not. But if greed consumes you, do you run the risk of losing what you already have? Yeah. This underlying truth or lesson is the reason for the story. Both stories of creation found in Genesis fall into this category. Notice, I said both stories. There are two stories of creation found in the book of Genesis. Today's reading is the first. Sometimes people try to blend them into one seamless story, but they come from two different authors with differing theologies within the Jewish faith tradition. Each has a different point to make about God and God's relationship to creation. Neither of these stories are factual depictions of how the world began. This story is not science trying to teach us factual scientific information. It is a story from an ancient people of how they understood the universe and the underlying truths they believe can be found in all of creation. As a colleague recently pointed out, science describes the natural order of what is, and faith seeks to answer the question, why? So, what are some of the truths found in this first creation story. One, there is a greater source of life that is behind all of what we see around us. We in the Abrahamic tradition call that source of life God. Two, God brings order to chaos an order that is creative in goodness and in diversity, not rigidity. Three, at its core, all creation is good, all of it. Only sin mars that goodness, which is partly what the extended second story of creation tries to explain, the source of sin. Four, all humankind has been made in the image and likeness of God, all of us. And just like creation, only our sin mars our reflection of that image. And lastly, number five, humankind has been given dominion over the rest of creation, which means 
We have charge over it, not to abuse it and use as we wish, but to use it and to care for it. Those are the general truths to this story. This image of a vast nothingness with a wind sweeping over the waters gives image to the spirit of Pentecost, sweeping over the disciples and creating the body of Christ. This spirit is working intimately with God to form all that is good, light and darkness, heavens and earth, dry land and seas, and on and on. God speaks and goodness is created. This spirit in Hebrew is ruha and is used only to describe the creating spirit of God. There is another definition to the word myth, however. It is a popular belief that is unfounded or is based on a false narrative or notion of life. Racial superiority is one of those myths and is in direct conflict with the beliefs of the Christian faith that all humankind is created in the image and likeness of God, all of us. Which means that the brutality that has been perpetuated against black people across generations is sin. Anytime someone is not treated as a child of God, created in the image and likeness of God, it's sin, plain and simple. No matter how we try to spin it, all people, no matter their gender, their race, their sexuality, their social class, their age, their physical abilities, their mental health, or in on any other way, people are unique. All people in their diversity and uniqueness are created in the image of God who can be seen in all of creation. The God who is known through the person of Jesus, the God who is Ruha and continues to create goodness in life, all united in one God. In our gospel reading, Jesus sends out the church to spread the gospel, the good news of God's goodness, love, mercy, compassion, and justice. It points to the mandate that we make disciples by first baptizing in the name of Father, Son, and Spirit, and second, teaching them to obey Jesus's command, which is to love God with all we are and our neighbor as ourselves. And the best way we teach all that Jesus has commanded is by living what we believe. It is not enough to baptize people. We must make disciples and we make disciples best by example. In my humble opinion, we each need to go into our prayer closet and ask God to open our eyes to the ways we each may perpetuate injustice against our neighbors. And then we need to ask the spirit to give us the courage to do whatever it is we need to do to change our hearts and to seek peace through justice. 
what God spoke into creation was goodness. What Jesus brought to the world in his time was goodness. What the Spirit still brings is goodness. What we should bring as church, as the body of Christ, as disciples who are baptized and sent out, led by the Spirit, should be only goodness. God looks at all God's children and names them good, made in the image of God who Jesus said is love. Think about that. God looked at you and said that you were good. God looked at your neighbor. God looked at your enemy. God looked at that person as different from you as can be and called them all good. We are all made in the image and likeness of God, called to live lives of goodness. Anything less is beneath our God-given potential. Amen. As we partake of this bread and this fruit, we honor the creator of all. As we bless and share these gifts, we celebrate the table fellowship of Jesus. Gathered as one body of Christ, we recall the Holy Spirit being poured out onto all the church, uniting us as one from our separate homes. We virtually come together, not because we are strong, but we know we need God's strength. We know we are not blameless, but in Jesus Christ, we are all forgiven of our sins. Bring your hopes and your history. Bring your deliberations and your doubts, share in this time of unity, knowing that God loves you as you are. And so, God of grace and love, we ask you to bless these gifts of bread and cup and all your people who are gathered in this moment. Among friends, gather around a table. Jesus took bread. And after giving blessing to the Holy One, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Whenever you do this, do it to remember me. Later, after they had eaten, Jesus took a cup of wine. And after giving thanks to the Holy One, he said, take this, all of you, and drink. It is God's new covenant with all humankind made possible by my life and death and resurrection. Whenever you drink it, do it to remember me.
Gracious God, we give you thanks that you have refreshed us at our individual tables by granting us the presence of Christ. We have gathered as family, even though we are far from each other. We have shared this communion of the church, which reminds us of the depth of Christ's love for us all. We offer prayers for all those affected by this pandemic, for all those who mourn, for all those who live in fear, and for all leaders who make decisions at this time. We pray that people care for their neighbor as we begin to engage society so that we do not face an increase of sickness and death. We pray that hate would be overwhelmed by love, just as your immense love destroyed the power of death. Let there be peace and justice throughout the land known on every mountain and hill, as it's written in Psalm 72, and protect all your beloved children made in your image and likeness. And so we pray, hear the cries of your people, O Lord, our help is in you, creator of all heaven and earth. Bend your ear to us and grant us the desires of our heart. May your spirit bring comfort to us all and your son bring mercy to our world. Amen. As you go about the coming week, May you know, know that you are a unique reflection of the God who called you into being. May you know that every person you encounter is a child of God also made in God's image. And may you allow the spirit of God Ruha, to rush over your mind and heart to create goodness where there is anything that keeps you from being a reflection of the God who loves you beyond measure. Resurrection is our hope and new life is our call. We are blessed beyond measure and we are called to do what we can to help those who are in harm's way. May God's blessings continue to be with us all. Remember that God loves you, as do I. Be safe, church. God willing, we will meet again via YouTube next week. Let the church say, Amen. Bob, there's Bob. Why am I doing this? There's Joan. That's how we can chat to each other. Oh man. Oh, I remember that one. Okay, good. I, I couldn't get my headphone to work. That was. Yep, yep. There, there, there she is. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, uh, I, have, uh, I didn't have your phone either, so I had to just leave it in front of the computer. Good. Rhonda, can, can you hear us now? now? I now can hear you. Okay. Can you I'm hear sorry, me? I can't. I can you hear you. Can you hear me? One, two, three.